Hello, I'm Paul Brooks, and I thank you for joining me to discuss the daily Bible readings accompanying this spring lesson number 13. Our Sunday school lesson this week is the last in this unit, Letters from Peter and Jude, and is titled, A Discerning and Persevering People, with the central truth that Christians must adhere to and defend sound doctrine. Our lesson this week is how we should respond and what our attitude should be towards false teachers who may try to invade or influence the church. Both Peter and Jude gave warnings to the church to reject teachings contrary to the teachings of the apostles. All of our daily Bible readings this week illustrate to Christians how we are to test everything with the truth, the word, and how we are to walk in the truth to protect ourselves and the church from these false teachers. On Monday, we begin our reading in Exodus chapter 18, verses 13 to 26, about men of truth. Our devotion tells us that a wise leader listens to good counsel, and Moses was a wise leader. In this passage, Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, gives Moses God-inspired advice, which is going to help Moses sustain himself and better serve and lead his people. It is in our best interest to be able to recognize when God is the source of counsel given to us. Remember from the title of this week's lesson that discernment is critical to our preservation. On Tuesday, we read from Psalms 25, a Psalm of David, in verses 4 to 10 about the paths of truth. David makes it clear in verses 4 to 5 that he desires God to teach him in his paths, heading him in God's truth, leading him in God's truth. We also see in this passage that David knows he has not been perfect and is conscious that God has forgiven him his transgressions, and also notes that God forgives sinners and will teach them in his way. David writes in verse 10 that all the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. On Wednesday, we read from Proverbs chapter 12, verses 15 to 22, about truthful tips. Hopefully, you're getting the point from all these passages that God is all about the truth. In this passage, we see the power of words, and we read the consequences of things God abhors and things He desires of us. In the last verse, verse 22, we read that lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but that that deal truly are his delight. Today on Thursday, make sure you read and study the correct citation. I posted two corrections to the citations for the next two passages earlier this week. Today's devotion comes from John chapter 14 verses 15 to 18, in which we read about the spirit of the truth. In this passage, we read Jesus' words as he tells his disciples that he will pray to the Father to send a comforter to abide with them, dwelling in them. In verse 15, Jesus gives them the condition, love me and keep my commandments. Jesus says in verse 18 that he will come to them in the spirit of the truth, identified in verse 17. Our devotion tells us that the word of God, the word of Christ, and the word of the Holy Spirit are in perfect agreement. The truth. For Friday, the correct citation is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 9 to 17, where we'll read to hold to our belief in the truth. Don't be swayed by false prophets and false teachers. In verses 9 to 12, we're warned by Paul's words about the individual we call the Antichrist. 
and the damning consequences for those who follow him. In verses 13 to 17, we read with joy Paul's encouragement to believers chosen by God and reminded of God's promise and covenant, which we enjoy. God and Jesus Christ himself shall comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. On Saturday, we finish with a passage from 2 John chapter 1, verses 1 to 8 about walking in the truth. And isn't that what this is all about? Discerning the truth and then walking in the truth. Now this is from the second epistle of John, probably written to an unnamed church rather than just a single family. Verses 4 to 8 in our devotion are from the portion of the epistle containing John's advice and warnings. John was concerned about many deceivers or false teachers whom he calls an antichrist. John advises that the believer walk in truth, walk in obedience to Jesus' commandments, and walk in obedience to the word. <clears throat> in verse 8, John tells us, Look to yourselves, that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. <clears throat> well, we see from this week's readings that our defense against false teachings is found in the Word. The Word is the truth. Test everything with the Word. Study and learn the Word. Just because even a well-meaning person may tell us their interpretation of a doctrine <clears throat> of something found in the Word, we should always test what we hear with our own knowledge and study of the Word as led by the Holy Spirit who dwells within us. We must protect ourselves and the church against false teachers and prophets who intentionally or inadvertently do harm to the church through unchecked and even deceitful teachings. More to come on this topic as we continue our study this week. So I pray that this video and these daily Bible readings and devotions help you to understand the full message for this week. Christians must adhere to and defend sound doctrine and to help prepare you for this week's main lesson. Be watching our church Facebook page. I'll be posting another video later this weekend to provide additional commentary and instruction for your study of this week's lesson. And Kathy and I hope to be back home. Now it looks like Friday evening and uh, be with you Sunday morning. And as always, I pray for you and your family's safety and for God's blessings upon you.